Great. Well, I'm very excited to be here and to be a part of this great program and to talk to all of you about what we're doing at Kiverdi. So at Kiverdi, we're seeking to address two challenges. And the first one is what we're all here to discuss, and that's waste, the amazing amount of waste that we generate as a society. And the second one is our ever-increasing desire for oil, whether it's petroleum-based oil or plant-based oil. And we seek to address those issues by providing a bridge between the two. And that bridge is a hybrid chemical biological process that converts waste carbon into oils. So why oils? We all know that oil can be converted into the fuel that we use in our cars and our airplanes. But oil is used in everyday products. There's many industrial applications and many products that we use uh, you know, this throughout our lives that oil is a part of. And so in particular, I want to start talking about one oil, and that's palm oil. So palm oil can be used to uh, create a renewable diesel, but it's also in many of the products that make surfactants, industrial surfactants, as well as products that we can find both above and below the sinks in our bathrooms and our kitchens. But there's a problem. And the problem is that in order to meet this ever-increasing demand for palm oil, which is about 45 billion kilograms a year, there's been an increase in the amount of rainforests that have been removed in order to make room for palm plantations. That's a problem. Uh, in addition, palm is hugely unstable in terms of its price. And so this has a direct impact for uh, industrial chemical companies that are trying to make products, their ability to predict their uh, future earnings and their, their cost structure. So there has to be a better way. Companies are looking for secure, sustainable sources of this type of product, palm oil. But the good thing is that they're acting. They're changing their purchasing patterns, uh, as well as perform forming uh, partnerships and alliances around making and sourcing sustainable palm oil. So at Converti, we asked, is there a better way? Can we make palm oil sustainably? And our answer was yes. And that began with the realization or noticing that we can make this intermediate a chemical that, that isn't common, but it's really common in industry, and it's called syngas, we can make that from almost any carbonaceous material. So we can take carbon waste from landfills, from agriculture, wood waste, convert that into a syngas, and we begin developing this innovative technology to upgrade that syngas into oils, and specifically a palm oil replacement. And this technology is uh, much faster than your typical approaches to making palm oil. So it's faster than your agricultural-based approaches, or even if you're doing other types of oil, in the case of petroleum, millions of years, in the case of agriculture, months. Uh, it is a low-cost process, so not only do we use waste as our key input, but our biological conversion step is a low-pressure, low-temperature process that can be scaled down to match these scales of waste aggregation. And then finally, it's better. So not only can we make a palm oil equivalent, but we can make a range of oils and chemicals to replace petrochemicals and other plant-based oil products. So we have been developing this technology since 2008. Um, we have IP from, dating back from 2008, and we're excited by a lot of the industry recognition that we have received from this technology. We have a very um, strong technology development partnership with the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratories. We raised a Series A round in funding last year, and we, in addition, have a project with the California Energy Commission, and we have in-kind support from Lawrence Berkeley National Labs. <laughs> so what is this technology that, we're, uh, that we've developed and we're commercializing? So it really begins with a bioprocess and microbes. And the core thing about the microbes is that, there, is that they are able to use this intermediate syngas that I mentioned before, the waste-derived syngas, as their energy source and their carbon source. That allows them to be able to use many different waste sources as an input, a key feedstock for this process. In addition, they're robust against many of the impurities that you find within syngas streams. This makes them significantly lower in cost than a chemical catalytic alternative. And then finally, we have a co-designed bioreactor that enables high productivity and low-cost scalability. And you really can think about it this way. It's kind of like brewing beer, but instead we're brewing oil. And instead of using sugar as an input, we're using waste-derived gases as an input, and we're getting oil as an output. And we're making oil today. Uh, we've demonstrated the ability to have really high oil yields, and we've done it using a fraction of the investment typical within our industry. 
core to being able to address waste mitigation issues is being able to scale to the, uh, the resources that are available, to be able to scale down, uh, de develop plants that can be deployed locally where the waste is generated. And so we have a deployment strategy that is where we have plants that are modular in design and can be co-located with waste generators. So our technology is fundamentally different than many of the other approaches that people have been taking in the last few years in order to uh, create oils. And core to it is our feedstock, our input. Other companies are using sugar or the sun. Um, our process uses waste. And this is beneficial because not only does it lead to a lower operating cost process um, with waste being the input, but we can deploy anywhere. Uh, we don't have to go to the six places on Earth or so that have enough sun or uh, to places where there's cheap sugar, such as Brazil. Secondly, the core microbes of our bioprocess are natural. They, we began with natural strains. We spent a lot of time searching for those strains and developing tools to modify them. Uh, whereas in many other cases, companies are massively re-engineering strains to do things that they weren't designed to do, and that's taken, them a, that's taken a, a while for them to get their products to market. So this, the benefit of this is a faster time to market. And then finally, our deployment strategy. Instead of massive, uh, you know, centrally located plants, we are developing modules that will be co-located with waste generators that leads to a lower cost deployment strategy and a distributed deployment strategy as well. So in terms of how we grow this company and grow this business, we have a joint development partnership model. And really that's around partnering with the feedstock providers, the waste uh, providers, as well as the chemical companies. So as an example, uh, we're talking to chemical companies about specific molecules that are made from plant-based oils or, or petroleum that they're interested in replacing. They want sustainable replacements for and entering into joint development agreements followed by joint venture deployments of these modules for those specific applications. So in terms of the team that we've uh, put together for this technology, so Converti was founded by myself and Dr. John Reed, who is in the audience. We know each other from our time at MIT pursuing B, uh, PhDs there. Um, but we're, we're joined by former CFO of GAP, uh, people with expertise from DuPont, Clorox, Procter & Gamble, strong industrial uh, team that we've put together to bring this technology to market. And we're here to ask you to join us. Uh, so many people think about sustainability and they think they have to sacrifice in terms of cost, higher priced products, or they have to sacrifice in terms of performance. At Converti, we, says we say that there's a better way. And we're commercializing a technology where you don't have to sacrifice on either of, the, either of those fronts, where we can actually make sustainability profitable. And we're very interested in partners to help us get there. Chemical companies, waste providers, uh, engineering firms to design and deploy our, our modules. Thank you very much for your time.